In Abuja, during the national workshop on reviewing the outcomes of the 2028 20, session of the Conference of Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, Minister of Environment Balarabe Habas Lawal emphasized that Nigeria, akin to numerous other nations, is grappling with the adverse repercussions of climate change. This includes extreme weather occurrences, rising sea levels, loss of biodiversity, and various other detrimental impacts that significantly affect livelihoods and communities. Mavis Akor, who was there, now reports. The 28th session of the Conference of Parties, COP28, to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, is a crucial gathering where representatives from countries around the world come together to discuss and negotiate global climate policies and agreements. This gathering of critical stakeholders is concerned about mitigating the effects of climate change, particularly in Nigeria, focusing on the transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy. The Minister of Environment, Balarabe Abbas Lawal, noted the recent change in weather patterns in Nigeria. COP28 reaffirmed our collective determination to tackle the essential threat caused by climate change which has been uh, quite unprecedented this year since because find that what happened in Nigeria is compared to what we, we saw in Kuwait, in Dubai, and other places. Uh, so I think there's a uh, dramatic change in terms of weather in Nigeria, starting from February up to today. The weather has been very, very hot. For Women Affairs Minister Uju Kennedy, empowering women will contribute to the build-up of the green and blue economy. We need help. If you need us to be part of this green and blue economy, the private, uh, climate change, we need the donors to concentrate more on empowering women with those sustainable empowerment that will encourage the blue and green economy and, and climate change. Lawmakers were ably represented. Concern raised at the conference about the climate change to be embracing changes that are key into what is now known as UAE Consensus, which commits the world to transition away from fossil fuel to reach net zero in a just, fair, and equitable manner. The advent CNG buses for mass transit in Nigeria is a testament to this commitment in Nigeria. It may seem a slow step, but the journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. So we need funding. We need technology, especially technology that will capture latest development, latest improvement in efforts to mitigate the climate change. Uh, climate change experts discussed how the crisis affects the day-to-day -day lives of individuals in Nigeria's target of carbon neutrality. The impacts to people's health was apparent, we've got increased risk of dehydration, heat stroke, stress, uh, blood pressure, but it also impacts already stretched infrastructure, such as energy, transport, and water, and affects us all on a day-to-day -day level. In Nigeria, incorporating climate mitigation, adaptation, and resilience into broad development objectives helps future-proof development gains adapt to a changing climate and help promote economic growth and reduce poverty. Also through technical uh, analysis and advice provided through its technical assistance program, which, uh, and this advice has been really very much in line to, to the commitments that Nigeria has made and uh, towards Paris Agreement, but also uh, other, uh, other, uh, other commitments and strategies that really uh, uh, outline the Nigeria Sustainable Development Vision. And we are very happy that uh, Nigeria, they are really uh, also uh, high, you know, in increasing the stakes in this pursuit by setting 2060 as their target for carbon neutrality. Critical stakeholders also shared their views on COP28 outcomes. COP28, which is conference to the parties, number 28, 
that took place in Dubai. The opportunities that the outcomes afford and its implications for the country were also considered and that is part of what we will be discussing with all of you in order to give you the appropriate current status of what Nigeria is doing with respect to the COP. The focal point of the occasion was the unveiling of the COP28 report concerning Nigeria's stance on the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The minister emphasized the importance of participants critically evaluating and pinpointing both achievements and areas needing improvement.